Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing another building video in The Sims 4. Today we're going to be making what I call the insane Meshuga house from The Sims 1. And as you can see, I already have one there because I already built the Meshuga house for my save file. I wanted the Meshuga house in my save file because I think it's so iconic from the old Sims game from The Sims 1. And this is more of an authentic recreation of the Meshuga house because it was an octagon in The Sims 1 because you could only do corners. But I wanted to recreate it because now in The Sims 4 we can obviously build round rooms and therefore we could build a round house. And I saw a lot of people building modern houses with the round tool. But I wanted to do something a bit different and I thought the Meshuga house and doing an evolution of what that would look like in The Sims 4 uh, would be a great idea. Another thing I wanted to do was kind of up the quality I suppose for my save file because that was a very accurate recreation of the Meshuga house and I wanted something that was going to be a bit more detailed and a bit more if the Meshuga house was in The Sims 4 this is what it would, would, would look like. And yeah, it was just a great opportunity to use objects that I don't normally typically use and I'm sure you don't you really use as well. Like those pride doors I thought were amazing and I was like the Meshugas would definitely have that in their house if they were in The Sims 4 as a family. And of course they will be in my save file as a family. So I thought these rainbow colored doors are perfect. I don't know how you describe the vibe of the Meshuga house or how they are in The Sims 1. I think I was going for like Novu Rich but maybe they have like a very, I think The Sims came out in the year 2000. Oh, I like these windows. I, you never get to place windows. Like whenever, when do you ever get to use windows in that type of placement? So that's why I love doing the Meshuga house. Likewise, the textures, the Meshuga house is known for its crazy tiles and wall paints and stuff. And again, I wanted to do a kind of a more evolved version of what that looked like in The Sims 4. I did a more authentic version in The Sims 1, but I felt like in The Sims 4, it needed to look like an evolution if the Meshugas were in The Sims 4. Oh, but anyway, back to the Meshugas. I always thought of them as like swinging 60s type of hippies. But the more I think about it, The Sims came out in the year 2000. So I kind of, they're probably more like dot com era, Novu Rish, before the crash in the new millennium. And they just like built this crazy house. That's kind of actually more how I envisioned them now that I'm older and I understand those different eras and the time The Sims 1 was made. But you know, for The Sims 4, it can really take place in any time and obviously it's, it takes place in a modern time period. But I don't think, you know, your houses have to be either traditional or modern. I think you can have a house that kind of places out of time, especially in Oasis Springs. I mean, that's the beauty of building in Oasis Springs is that you can go crazy. So as you can see, I'm going heavy with the wall textures. I mean, I think the reality is a lot of you will think this is tacky, um, and so, and I realized if I was going to do tacky, it needed to be look, it needed to look detailed. It, it had to be like really detailed tacky. And now you guys realize a lot of work was put in to make like as Dolly Parton says, it costs a lot of money to look that cheap. And I wanted the house to look the same way that she took. That she takes ages to remember. I love that mirror in the bathroom. I never get to use that bathroom mirror with the star. And again, the Meshuga house is great for that. Um, I love those. I, I don't think anyone could ever imagine using those windows in that way. You can in the Meshuga house. Oh, apologies for my build by catalog. If you're seeing some dodgy objects in the catalog, um, it's no secret I have Wicked Whims installed on my computer, but I've, I downloaded a folder off the internet, my first mistake, because uh, I was too lazy to download all the animations. I found like a seven gigabyte folder. So I was like, that person has good stuff. Also, the Meshugas would obviously have mirrors for their bathtub. They're that type of crowd. Also, the vibrating bed. That's actually in my original Meshuga house, which is a more accurate recreation. But I didn't want you guys to have to use CC. And if you play on game consoles, you want to be able to download the house. So I just use a base game bed. But if you do have the vibrating heart bed, CC, put it in there in its place. Oh, but the Wicked Whims thing. <laughs> As for Wicked Whims... Um, so I downloaded this folder, my first dodgy mistake. I have, a, I have a very popular TikTok. My only TikTok that's a banger that broke out on TikTok is me with a crazy Wicked Whims uh, TikTok. Um, but I had, I guess, this objects in a bunch of subfolders. So they were never in my game, but I was going through Wicked Whims trying to clean it out a little and I saw these objects and I was like, oh, let's move these into the proper mods folder so I can see them. And there's some crazy stuff. And I only saw them for the first time, by the way, during this build, because that's when I moved the folder. So what I did, I saw some crazy things like a head in a jar for, I guess, a Sim who had like more than a wicked whim. I suppose you could say like a devious desire. Is that a, is that a mod for a Sims 4? Devious desire. I feel like that's, I heard that somewhere. 
Or am I just thinking like of Desperate Housewives and Devious Maids and <laughs> Devious Desires? Maybe someone should make a TV show about that. As for the kitchen, that was tough because curved walls is tough. And in the Meshuggahs, it's, it's on this 90 degree, but it's an octagon, so it's on flat walls. Um, what I realised, I suppose, early on is that we'd have to come up with a new way of redesigning the kitchen. We can't just replicate it. It's going to have to be, again, a more evolved, inspired version in The Sims 4 with round walls. So I needed to figure out where the couch was going to go because it still needs to be recognisably the Meshuggah house. And I think when you look at it, you're like, oh yeah, the Meshuggahs live there. So what I eventually came up with, I think at first I tried kitchen islands. That didn't really work out. I, that this is my first going, but there was nowhere to put the, the dining room table. So what I eventually came up with was just kind of a, a laissez-faire placement of a kitchen. So putting a kitchen and a countertop next to each other and then putting a stove under the window. And then those two, that counter by the corner, lining two counters up and that's where the sink goes, excuse me. So I'm quite tired. It's Saturday night and I did absolutely nothing except order fried chicken and do this video for The Sims. But last night, Friday night, I went out clubbing. So I come in multitudes. If you're expecting me to some, be some, you know, introvert, no, I actually went night clubbing Friday night. And now it's Saturday and I have no plans. So I'm making a Sims video for you, for you all to watch. Uh, and then I finally figured the kitchen out. I like how that looked. And I love this new table and chairs that comes in the base game update. I think I have it in my restaurants as well. I'm obsessed with this. I think this was from the Mexican food update, but I never realized, I knew we had the table, but I never seen those chairs before until now. And a build like this is a great opportunity to use, you know, a table like that with the pattern. Um, it's great because you never really get to build houses like this in The Sims 4. It's all about, you know, building, you know, what houses look like in society. And it's been nice to be able to kind of suspend this belief again. And I think that's why Oasis Springs is a nice world to build in because for the most part, you're just surrounded by nature. You're not, or if there are other houses, there are houses you, you built. So you can, you know, build a theme or, you know, you're in control of designing the neighborhood. Whereas I really don't like building in Willow Creek. Most people play in Willow Creek and it's really disappointing because I think it forces you to have a certain house in Willow Creek because they're all like Victorian houses, Americana from the 1800. And as an Irishman, I have no idea how to build Suburbans. It's just, I don't like them. They're not my thing. Um, I also love building at nighttime because I think lighting is really important in setting the mood. So there are chunks of my speed build you're watching now where it is taking place at nighttime. And you know, the Meshuggahs who are going to be in my save file, they're obviously gonna be not conservative. No conservative person would live in this house. So I kind of wanted them to have that kind of easy going, Obviously, they're still no very rich. Um, but I don't know if people are going to relate, because I mean, not, I don't think people are going to be familiar with kind of like rich people from the dot com era. I mean, I don't know if this looks like new money, because it's not really a Kardashian, like a Kim Kardashian style house build where it's like, you know, modern and sleek and, you know, minimalist. I wanted this to be maximalist and crazy. Um, so I think that's why the detailing was so important to me. It was that so when you load into the lot, you might think it's tacky, but you're like, oh yeah, this is well designed though. And um, I suppose on that note, let's talk about the save file. Because um, I, I built some restaurants for my save file too. I think a lot of the team in my save file is I just wanted something that was really interactive. With a lot of great community lots of different variants. That, and it's, it's a save file that rewards you for owning packs in The Sims 4. I think one of my big issues with The Sims 4 is that you can buy all the game packs and expansion packs and stuff packs, but The Sims team never really rewards you in the game for having that. Like every time you do a new save files, which means if you like do a new scenario in The Sims, which is something they've introduced, you have to like rebuild your world all over again to include content from packs you own. I really wish if I started a new game, Willow Creek, Oasis Springs and a few of the other worlds would have restaurants in them because I own Dine Out. And because I own Spa Day, maybe they put a spa, a spa venue in Magnolia Promenade and somewhere else. It's different like if it's a Japanese onsen from Snowy Escape, I understand why you'd only have an onsen in that world. But I think like, like, I don't know if nightclubs are always base game. They're base game now, but from as far as I remember, they were introduced with Get Together, because that's obviously where you get the dance floor from and everything else. Why does every world not have a nightclub in it besides 
um, the get together worlds. Like there's one in Willow Creek. And I, I, th- I thought that used to be a lounge, but I met a new game. It's, like, it's called it a nightclub. But I mean, why aren't there like no nightclubs in the Discovery University world? It's really weird. Anyway, I'm designing the garden now. Not to go off on a tangent, but anyway, my new save file, it rewards you for owning packs. I think Oasis Springs and uh, Willow Creek for the most part will be base game only, like the houses. But like there's gotta be restaurants in them and there's gotta be cafes. So I think if you owe, if you inked for my save file to work well, it's gonna be very base game friendly for those two worlds. But I think if you own um, like dine out and get together, you're gonna be in really good shape. Which I think is really interesting because I have, I have other favorite packs of The Sims 4, but for like, for this actual save file to take your Sims places, I'm making sure that every world has like at least one restaurant and one cafe and they're all going to be different styles. I do like building at night because again, atmosphere is really important to me. When you play a house, half of the time you spend it will be at night time. So lighting and stuff is really important and what the presentation looks like at night time. Um, I think another thing I wanted in my save file is to have these crazy houses. Like I took a lot of inspiration of houses from The Sims busting out. And you'll see some of those lots, especially in Oasis Springs. Like I built the military octagon from busting out. And I wanted it to because I want, like I think to, for The Sims 4, to play The Sims 4, it takes a lot for you to like to leave your house. Cause you're like, you're like, should we go somewhere? Should I sit through a loading screen? And because most of the houses are built to be realistic, they're very same, same. It's like, am I gonna sit through a loading screen just to go over to this person's house who lives in another suburban? Whereas, you know, you can just call them to come to your house. And I think that's like a recurring team. It's like, should I leave the house? Should I sit through a save game? Oh, I do like an analysis to make sure it looks good at night time, which is what I'm doing now. So I wanted the houses to be crazy. So you're like, yes, I will visit the Meshuggahs to, you know, play in their crazy lot for a few hours and have a barbecue with them. But yeah, I think I'm putting in some final touches. There's no television. So I was like, let's put in a music speaker. They're going to dance. They're going to boogie. Um, I really, really like how much time's left on this. Okay, this is finishing up. So I, on that note, enough talking. Let's jump in to the game and see what the Meshuggah house looks like. Hi everyone, so now we're in, we're in live mode now and this is the Mishuga house, this is what it looks like. Um, a random sim family has moved in, it's a single lady and her baby of all people. I don't know why they put a child, they moved a, a, a woman put a child into this house, but they did. I wish the sims team for their next update to neighborhood progression would appropriately put sims in appropriately sized homes. Have you ever seen a random family of like six sims to live in a one bedroom and say, like, why did you move in there? I don't know what's happening because we're in cinema mode, but there's something going on. But this is what the house looks like. I really want it to be detailed, so even though it looks kind of tacky, it needs to look tacky detailed. But I don't think it's tacky, I just think it's different. I think it's um quirky. <laughs> um, it's base game only, there's only one object, which is the woohoo bush. But So if you don't have the woohoo bush, it's not going to be a big issue. So let's go in and see what it looks like. This is the living room. I love that with the glass roof, it looks really detailed. Um, there's the bar and the speakers, they can do a little dance. Oh, oh, those, are those neighbors coming? Mm. Uh, this is the bathroom. I love how the bathroom turned out. It's the shower and tubs bookmarked by those two plants, but you also have a hot tub here, or a, sorry, a big bathtub. And if you have, you know, woohooing, or if you're crazy and have a good whims installed, you have mirrors for extra kink. I just really wanted the house to look, you know, quirky and well detailed. Like when would you ever get to do windows like that? I love it. It's like, I want to build a Teletubbies house now. Uh, this is the toilet and the double sinks for a him and him or her and her or they and day uh, or a combination. Uh, I, when do you get to use a mirror like this? I uh, really love that mirror. I'm like, when do you get to use it? So here's my sim who moved in. I didn't pick this, they just moved into the house. I will build the Meshuggahs for my save file. And she came with a bloody baby. I'm like, why would you bring a baby into this house of all houses? But uh, she's just learning how to cook so we don't set the house on fire. I like how the bedroom looked. Again, if you have the... Uh, the vibrating heart bed, do put that in there. But yeah, I think, you know, it's nice and detailed. There is a computer, because I was like, there needs to be some form of electronic entertainment and computers are obviously a critical part of The Sims 4. They get jobs from it, they order food, they socialize, etc., etc. I like how the walk-in closet worked out. So even if you don't own a dream home decorator, you have that. I love the kitchen. Um, I, think it looks great. I think you don't see kitchens like this ever <laughs> in Sims builds. But like, again, while you might think it's tacky, I want it to look super detailed. I love patterns. And it's just something you just wouldn't normally see in The Sims 4. And that's why it's going to be in my save file. Because again, these are lots that you'll want to visit and, you know, visit these other Sims because you're like, 
kettle totally hang out in the Meshuga house for a few hours and you know hop into their hot tub from their round house and have a barbecue over here and uh, oh yeah these are these are neighbors coming uh oh so this is what the Meshuga house looks at night time I think it's you know really nicely lit in my opinion obviously do let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions who are you coming towards my house good man <laughs> you did not come into this private property um, but this is the lighting. I want it to look moody at night time so like if your sims have come back from work or like come back from a date or something um, It has like a nice atmosphere And I think you know atmosphere is important in the sips. This is obviously what it looks like from the back um, So I don't not it's not just not a house for every sim I doubt you know your personal sim family will want to live here But I think it'd be a really fun lot for you and your sims to visit. I can turn the radio down because um, I'm playing on my computer separate to this computer. This is what the living room looks like at night time. I think there's like a nice atmosphere. I think it looks nice and warm. Um, this is what the bathroom looks like. I think it's appropriately extra at night. Uh, it's not too dark. I think when I was building, I was worried it might look too dark at night time. It's not. Uh, this is the bedroom. She's playing The Sims on the computer. Inception. Uh, this is what the light looks like. I, there was even work put into that light there because I had to make sure that bulb was facing the bed and the, the, the light shined appropriately. Uh, those considerations were definitely brought into account. And I think the kitchen looks great at night time. I think the, the lights are such a vibe with the patterns and everything. I think this looks real homey. I'd, I'd like to get up during the night and get something out of the fridge in a house like this. Um, this is obviously a woohoo bush where your sons can go for a woohoo. If that's what they want to, they can work out. There's a little exit for them to come out to the uh, to the to the river. This is what the house looks like, I suppose, overall. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this speed building tour of the Meshuga house. You can download it now uh, if you don't want to wait for the save file because that will take a long time. I'm not going to lie because I don't work on it full time, obviously. So uh, that I've been working on that for a long time, and it's going to be in development for a long time, just like everything in life. So you can download this off the gallery, my username's in the description. If you enjoy the video, do subscribe and give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you're gonna play in the Mishuka house. Is it gonna be like a house you visit with your sim family or will you even move your sim family into it? Could be a nice, a nice holiday home, um, a rental for a honeymoon, crazy honeymoon. Uh, but those are some ideas, I suppose, on how you could play with the house. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I think Delegacy says that, doesn't she? I need to come up with something different. Anyway, hope you all had a nice time throughout your day. Anyway, have a good one. Bye.